this was about like what you have your goals how focused you are um, like uh, what are the challenges you can take and how do you take your life that that is covered in this thing but the hardest place and seizing that opportunity and then really giving up your time and piece of experience for me i really think it's the number of event hours operational hours we just had a great uh, interactive class a smart uh, in the smart class of a college uh, about personality development uh, we learned many things uh, with this documentary My, and um, our teacher uh, helped us through it with it uh, we saw uh, how to uh, become a better person in life, um, in career. In our, it helped us in uh, seeing better career opportunities and also uh, in personality development. As well as it threw a light on uh, entrepreneurship development, how a person can become, um, overall I can say, it, uh, it helped a lot uh, in knowing a person how he can set up his or her own enterprise. Uh, that's the main focus uh, which we got through this video and that's the main thing I guess. of the city that is Islamia College of Science and Commerce designing at Howell. We will simply take a campus tour and interact with the student and that will help you out and they share the current experiences what they have in the college. So let us go and around and simply pick up a couple of the students and have their experiences. Hang on, excuse me. Hi, hello. Oh, how's your day going on? So it's nice over here. Okay, fine. Since how long you are in this college? So it's been two years. Uh, two years, college, yeah. obviously. So do you might be having very good experiences, right? Of course, a good, great experience in this college. Okay, so simply uh, my question would be, what makes this college so unique? Why it's Islamia, not any other college you picked in the city, we can say? Yeah, yeah, actually that's a good question. I would like to answer it like this. Uh, so this college is actually, I don't think uh, when I come to the co this college in the morning, I don't feel like I'm going to the college. I think I'm just going to my home, my next home, fine. Yeah. So the teacher, here are more interactive, more friendly, and they just give us support in each and everything. So that's what I think is uh, unique, and I don't think this uh, this type of environment is given to any other college the, uh, in this Kashmir. Okay. So, what are the opportunities that your college is offering to the student? Okay, a lot of opportunities are here, but I think the major one is that we, uh, our college is just uh, uh, organizing business clubs every week. Uh, that's on Saturdays here. So we just interact with our teachers and the topic is chosen over there, and we are just giving the good lecture about that and we are made aware about all those things that are happening in our current world so that's the I think the most uh, major biggest thing about our college and now all, all, of course the teachers over this place are most amazing persons that I have seen on this earth okay that's great okay so like uh, you know I just stopped you well it looks like a very good gang let us simply ask me one thing like how are the fellow students that you come around in the college they are extremely nice they are extremely friendly the I would like to share my experience first day experience in my college it was was really great. Uh, I come to know many girls, many boys here, and they are really, really extremely good fellow beings. I can say that's that's over, that's my overall experience. I can say till date, it's still the same. That's I great. I haven't seen any change till yet. Okay. Can I get to know the time? What is the time by now? Your watch? It's twelve. It's twelve thirty. Almost a break time. Yeah, yeah. Right. So can you just shed some light? How is the food or dining options you have in your college? Well, there's a best canteen outside, and uh, it has a very good. Uh, and it looks from your health that you obviously are looking like having a great. You enjoy. Yes, uh, the canteen is very best. It's hygienic canteen there. If you go see there, and uh, you have uh, different for boys there's different thing, uh, uh, different uh, place to sit, and for girls there's a different thing, and which uh, helps a lot because some girls are. Uh, right now, I'm saying that you have a girl in a gang. So what does that mean? If she want to sit with you, is it like okay with the campus? Does it go? Okay? 
Yeah, that's okay because so you have told you that problem in our college. Just like boys and girls are the interaction together. Especially in our department. Yes, yes. It's it's not you don't need to focus that they have a separate thing for boys and girls. So that was okay for me, right? Hi. What's your good name? It's Rashid. Rashid, great. So Rashid, uh, just tell me one thing. How approachable is the college staff? How approachable is the college president of Islamia College? I think it depends on the students, how they approach the teachers. Teachers are not going to come to you and they'll tell you what you need. You have to go to the teachers. And when they come to me, when they'll come to me, I'll say that teachers are most ap approachable over here. Because I have been uh, approaching them in the, in the, well, in this college, in this premises, as well as outside. Because uh, you can uh, call them at any time. You can text them. You can ask any time, whatever you want. So they're really approachable. Okay. So me, you can say that yeah, yes, you do have a say in the college, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. May I know your good name? Ziyan Akshmandi. Okay. Ziyan Akshmandi, that's great. Let me first tell you, you're looking very nice, very cute, adorable face you have. Okay. Just tell me one thing. What extracurricular activities you are involved in? Because I, I don't think so. You do are involved in it because you look very fresh. Yeah. Actually, what uh, our department uh, in our department there are many activities going on besides our studies. We go for business clubs and uh, debates and all. Uh, we just go and uh, participate in that. We have presentations even. Uh, Recently, our, uh, our department has given us the separate library, so that we can uh, we can be uh, free uh, to uh, have books and all. Because in uh, in a common library, there are uh, many students of every stream going on. But in our uh, uh, separate library, commerce, right? Yeah, commerce. We we just have a, uh, that opportunity to go and uh, take the books of our choice. Uh, that's great. So, do you wish some activities that you want your department or college to start? Yeah, there should be more debates, more, uh, more like uh, more clubs, uh, like uh, 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 through which we can interact, so that we can be uh, uh, enough bold to speak in front of everyone. Okay, that's great. So one last question to you. So how much uh, safe you feel? You sorry, you feel you feel in the campus? Yeah, we are fully secure in this campus because no outsiders are coming in the college. Uh, the uh, we uh, we are we just enter the college only uh, when we are having the ID card with us. Otherwise, we won't. No, be, no person would be allowed to enter. Yeah, no unknown person is allowed uh, inside the campus. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. We come across the experiences of different students. They talk about the activities that they have around the college. Now we'll talk about a round of the hidden treasure of Islamic College that is simply a student library. Let us take a look around and see what we have for the students. Okay, let's go inside. Okay. Oh, bunches of teachers we have in the library. That's great. Mm. Okay. 
We'll go to this session. Hello. Uh, may I know your good name? Uh, Dr. Amin uh, from the Department of Commerce. Yeah, that's great. So you, you can, us, can you please take us to the tour of a library, what you have for the students, what or what are the books that you provide to the students? Can you just simply take, you know, give us a tour about it? Uh, surely, we have a library here. It's different titles here, books, uh, students. Is this uh, solely for the Commerce Department or this is for everybody? This is especially uh, used for, and uh, uh, this, this, this library is used by the different uh, students from BCom honors, BCom uh, general and BBA students. Okay, I just came to know around from the students that you are you have initiated for a good cause that I have heard something about the book bank. Can you simply throw a light over it? What is this book bank all about? Surely, uh, this uh, book bank is very much uh, precious in terms of uh, number of copies on uh, different titles, uh, which include uh, books on economics, books, books on management, uh, financial accounting, management accounting, and most particularly, I want to say one thing, those who are poor or needy children here, we identify them first by all the faculty members. Then after those books are used throughout the session, throughout the three-year degree course, we help them help out. And if those children can do this facility, if they can do it again, then there is no problem in it. Okay, thank you. Okay, fine. So since how long it's been started? When did it start? How long has it been started? It has been always there. The book bank was always there. But it was not in the formal way of inauguration, the students were not more updated. Although from time to time, we have noticed that on the board, if there is a book or any other study material, we help them out. So this was already existing. Now we have kept it in the formal way here, so that the students who come to the library, who have kept the special door for the students, and they will also have a look here, so that we can explain it to the students. And we keep the books on and off. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you please tell me what are the opportunities that your department is offering to the students? See, basically this department has a long establishment. It was established in 1961 and from the very beginning it has been an epicenter of commerce and management education. And as a department we are very much focused towards creating a platform where the students can grow professionally, whether it's a commerce education or it's a business management. And we have developed a special course of BCom Honours as well from 2012 we are offering degree in become honors mm -hmm. and uh, we are also very much committed towards developing uh, students beside professionally we are committed to develop them to uh, make them a very responsible citizen that mm -hmm. so that they can be very much beneficial to societies as well so you mean to say there are a lot of uh, personality development tasks that goes around in your college yes, or in department? yes we are not only committed towards the core academics beside core academics we are also very much committed towards bringing the overall development of the students mm -hmm. whether it is extracurricular activities whether it's a uh, uh, physical education activities whether it is uh, beyond this uh, you know uh, core academics or a mm syllabi -hmm. we move beyond these and we keep on conducting various sessions of them whether there is a career counseling sessions we are keeping them we have a special activities in our department that is called as a business yeah. club and in which we have a very uh, different thrust areas where we try to groom the personalities of our students mm -hmm. besides we, are, we also keep on uh, uh, developing the interactive uh, teachings uh, through bringing the various uh, you know, industrial professionals, industrial experts and the uh, academicians which are outside of this college to this college so that to our department so that they can be imparting the education in a very broader and holistic Obviously, manner. Obviously they can be the live example to the students, yes, right? Perfectly. Be so beside academicians, we have also invite the successful entrepreneurs okay. or that so that the, there is a very much now overall grooming should take place of the students. That's great. So like you know this is a digital world. So I just want to know from you what tutorial program you are having in the campus? See, uh, we are very much aware as a faculty here in the department, we are very much aware that the, the digitization and the internet and the technology has to bring, uh, has now come into the core academics of the uh, uh, these teachings and for that matter we have started our in our department we have uh, we have developed the smart classrooms maybe you have also visited them mm -hmm. we are uh, we are we are we have bring the technology to the uh, students where they can have uh, interactive boards and interactive learning and take place besides we also are in a process of developing a remote learning app which will be which is right now in a rather testing phase and which will be shortly uh, inaugurated in our department whereby students will be having a remote access 
classes mm. to the core academic uh, syllabi or uh, study materials and at their homes at uh, their places they can download it and can use it since you said that you have a very good tutorial program and like you said that you do use a digital kind of a thing whatever we have around so i must but i just want to ask you one thing on this note what is the average award merit of the student see uh, this last last year our result was very much impressive and uh, one of our uh, students also topped the results and one of our student topped the university entrance exams results our our average if we say we have uh, around around 90 to 95 percent average rate of the results maybe rest, rest 5 10 5 to 10 percent results maybe due to the external environment factors or maybe the personal factors of the students maybe because of that thing they may be having we do be you, lacking that's great do you think that you can maintain the consistency in the coming years because the competition is so great and obviously there are so many colleges around the city that might be giving you a neck to neck competition do you think that islamia college would be able to stick to that they will be able to uh, you can say maintain the consistency that they have been over the years yes we are we are working on that and says i'm just let me take this opportunity to uh, tell you that we are right now working on certain mous mm -hmm. with uh, other academic institutions like we have uh, right now in the process of signing a mou with the uh, edi mm -hmm. we are right now in the process of signing a edi uh, MOU with the CDA Craft Development Institute. Beside with other certain corporates, we are also trying to rope them with us and we have a memorandum of associations, our understanding with us. And by this way, we are trying to make us a very different, mm -hmm. to promote ourselves uniquely and to have a very different curriculum for the students that are our students that are that belong to our department okay other than the students that come regularly in the college do you have a hostel facility in the college for the students that uh, you know are living uh, so far behind you can say uh, around not, that are not so close to the area we uh, let, let us basically first talk about that we are not a residential campus mm -hmm. we are uh, we, we are in a locality of a city nagar and we are trying our best that the students who are uh, not who don't belong to the city nagar district that uh, we we provide them the hostel. We have a one hostel facility. Mm -hmm. We provide them the hostel facility, and one another hostel is coming up for the SCST students, and we are looking on that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Besides teaching, our basic purpose over here is to develop the personality of the students. Personality development is a very important thing. Since we teach, uh, we are manage, uh, teach management, and we want them to be good managers. Therefore, we uh, work a lot on their language. That's very important. They should be able to speak properly, communicate in a very good manner, and the most important thing is they should be very marketable. And for that, what we do is we work on their personality. We teach them. That's a regular thing that we do. We do that, but uh, we uh, just uh, uh, want them to develop the skills very well so as such we have our business club plus we have other activities guest lectures and all for the students so that they are updated and uh, they know what is going on in the market and they know what is going on everywhere and uh, be very smart and uh, they should feel proud that they belong to Islamia College <laughs>